Oh, yikes. Erica, we saw you get really emotional on that phone call. Can you talk to us about that moment, what you were feeling? I was really, like, breaking in, like, pieces day by day. I've done a lot of therapy since, and I found so many lessons that I needed to learn, and I was able to tap into, like, I attracted this energy into my life. Yeah. I've had some faults in my marriage, but at the same time, I've also swept so much under the rug. And I think that's why I got taken advantage of, because for the first time, I thought I was safe. Safari, I gotta ask you, how does it feel to, to listen to what Erica's saying, to see and hear the pain? And are you in pain? Um, you know, I always purposely just try to numb myself from everything so that I don't feel pain. And I tell myself I don't care so that I could really believe it. But, um, there's pain. It's obvious me and Safari will never be. I was in the hospital bed with this man's son. That man didn't care if I made it through that pregnancy. That man didn't care if I made it through that labor. I really have fought through some dark time. Like, literally, I couldn't get out of bed, guys. There was days I could not eat. But at the same time, I have to face my kids and I gotta act like everything's okay because I'm the only one that feeds them on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, I had to drag myself out of that dark place with my first son because I had to hustle so much. I sacrificed so much time away from my firstborn and I'm still trying to make it up to this day. And this is stuff that I've confessed, you know, mm -hmm. and been vulnerable with to him about. That's why it's weird that he knows traumatic experience I've had of being a single mother once and then he turns around and makes me a single mother twice. I've already come to terms that Safari will never really take accountability. And that's fine. He don't owe me nothing. All he owes now is his kids. And that's, that's all I care about. Safari? Do you want to say anything at this point? Come on. Come on, say this Grow up. Shut the f up. You can Bar. cast me out. I'm cool Bar. with it. Speak, bro, because there's somebody out there like you. So you got to speak, bro. I want you to be able to speak and not us speak for you. So if there's anything, I mean, this is the time. I don't even know how to start. We want to hear. Start. He said he has pain. Sometimes to get your pain out, you got to release it. If you got pain, dog, you got to get it out too. Y'all both. Who, who wants to get married, have kids, and then end up here? Like, I wouldn't have thought two years later this is where we would have been. We were, we were just at a place where it was just who could hurt who the most, and we were there for a long time. It sucks. Definitely sorry for the time when our son was born. And I left a week later. It wasn't a week later. OK, OK, just let me finish, Erica. It was days. Okay. But go ahead. Erica talked about how the divorce has affected her. How has it affected you? It hasn't. He's been having fun. OK, it looks like it, but <laughs> he probably hasn't. He's been living, living his best damn life. Well, it appears. But he is not living but, his best life. But, 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 no, good for him, though. That boy would have got a girl look like you. Well, and you ain't, ain't got to wake life. up to take care of two babies. You better be. Yeah, I think he has some things he may want to say, but he's just not in a space where he feels safe to be able to Express say him. whatever he wants to say. He's telling you he hurt. He's telling you he's sorry. And sorry we cut him off, and we, we we talking for him. He's right here. Agreed. I let, want him, him. let him get it out of self. OK, the night you were playing uh, cards with, with the fellas, you were very upset. And you threw a chair. Other dudes come in, want to feel like they, they old. Oh, this is a safari, baby. You know what I'm saying, huh? Oh, he don't like you and, and oh, yeah. you your this kids. Shit. Oh, it is old. What, what triggered you at that moment? What made you so I had upset? a flight to catch. And I had to leave, so that's how I left. This man don't care. It's, it's, first of all, it's not that I don't care. <laughs> I don't gotta first... stop thinking this man is gonna give you substance. There's no substance there. That's why I don't talk, though. But he do care, girl. He's been hurt. But I really do, deep down in my heart, believe he love Erica. Before we go, what's your hope for your relationship with her as a co-parent? Just to be better than where it's at now. What? That's the start. Well, that is a start. I wish you two the best. I hope you get to a place where you can both be in a comfortable space. Thank I you. know that was not easy. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, 
Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheers!